What I want to do today is connect our GitHub and Google Drive apps so that whenever a new issue is created in GitHub, an editable document will automatically be created in our Google Drive account. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial, so you can try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want GitHub to trigger my Google Drive app, I'll need to use GitHub as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime GitHub sees a new message that's been sent out, it's going to run this workflow. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Issue as my event and click Continue. The first time we set up GitHub, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your GitHub account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. We'll then need to fill out our trigger app's data. First, choose the type of issue you would like for your trigger to be set on. I'm going to click any issue you can see. Next, pick the organization you would like to use for your Zap. I'm going to click me. Finally, select the repo you would like to use for your Zap. I'll click Workflow 101 and then I'll click Continue. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click Continue and we can start creating our action. Type in Google Drive into the search bar and select it on the drop down menu. Next, click Create File from Text and click Continue. From there, I can select and authenticate Google Drive with Zapier, just like I did with my GitHub account. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue and we can start to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps field. First, choose the drive you want your Zap to appear in. I'm going to click My Google Drive. Next, for my file name, I'll click Title and for the file content, I'll click Body. And then, for a Convert to Documents section, I'll select True, and then click Continue. Click Test Action, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime a new issue is created in GitHub, an editable document will automatically be created in our Google Drive account. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.